so I know we're all stuck at home and we're all just very, very tired of it, but I thought that I would brighten your day with a little five minute story from Five Minute Girl Power Stories and I am going to read to you Nala's Great Adventure from The Lion King. Nala was sitting at the edge of Pride Rock, gazing out at the land, when she had an idea. Hey Simba, Nala called. Want to go on an adventure? What kind of adventure? Simba asked. Is today the day we find our perfect clubhouse? You mean our cub house? Nala chuckled. <laughs> that sounds like the perfect adventure. We'll find a place to hang out where we can do whatever we want. Nala turned to her mother. Can we go? Yes, Nala, she said. But you and Simba must be home before dark. And wait for Zazu! Sarabi said, having overheard them. Sure, Mom, Simba shouted as he ran away. Turning to Nala, he added, whispering, Sure, if Zazu can catch us. Come on, follow me. Simba was taking Nala to a new hiding place he had found that he thought would be perfect for their cub house. He couldn't wait to see what she thought of it. Isn't this the best hideout? Simba said as he leaped up on a large rock. We can do whatever we want and make it our own. It's cool, Nala replied, but doesn't someone else live here? Just then, Scar walked around the corner. Ah, my favorite nephew, Scar grumbled. Uncle Scar, I'm your only nephew, Simba said laughing. <laughs> Look, I brought my friend Nala. Scar did not seem pleased. What are you two doing here, he asked. We're looking for our very own cub house, Simba explained. Come on, Nala, I'll show you the dark part of the cave. Scar scowled. He did not want them hanging around his home. Well, if you must, Scar began, already plotting how to get rid of Simba. But did I mention that Zazu is coming for a visit soon? He checks up on me, you know. Uh, we were kind of trying to avoid Zazu, Simba said. Time to go check out another cub house option, I guess, Nala told Simba. I think you're right. Bye, Uncle Scar, Simba called. The pair ran off before Zazu could catch up to them. Where should we go now, Simba asked. Hmm, Nala thought for a minute. I know, she said at last. We can go to the water hole. Nobody, especially not Zazu, will find us there. There were always lots of animals gathered at the water hole. Lost in the crowd, the two friends would be able to do whatever they wanted. Check it out, Nala exclaimed as she jumped and splashed in the water. Hey, you got me wet, Simba yelled. But it was so much fun that he soon jumped in too. The two cubs ran and played together. The spot seemed perfect for their cub house. The fun and games continued until Simba bumped right into an elephant's leg. Oh, watch out, Nala said. They were soon surrounded by a parade of elephants, none of whom seemed to notice the two lion cubs running among them. Nala, look out, Simba cried. A crash of rhinoceroses was rushing toward the water and Nala was in their path. Run, Simba shouted. He raced over and pushed Nala aside just in time. As Simba raced away from the rhinoceroses, he ran right into a colony of flamingos. Sorry, he hollered as he scrambled away. I think I'm... Ready to leave now, Simba said as he gasped for air. Oh, me too, Nala added. I'm not sure this was the best place for our cub house. The tired cubs started out across the savanna, but then Nala had another idea. Follow me, she said to Simba. Nala led Simba straight to the base of Rafiki's tree. Now this is what I call a perfect cub house, Simba said as he began to climb up the tree. So nice, Nala replied as she followed him. I'm going to find my own branch. The two friends were so exhausted from their adventures that they settled down to nap for a while. What are you doing? Rafiki asked, waking the two cubs up abruptly. Nala looked up groggily. What? You don't belong here, Rafiki said. He scratched his chin and muttered, you belong up there. He pointed toward Pride Rock. The cubs looked toward their home. They spotted their mothers looking for them. Oh, we were supposed to be home before dark, Nala said, and I am getting kind of hungry. Me too, Simba added wistfully. 
the cubs thanked Rafiki and then headed back toward Pride Rock. There you are, Zazu called from above as they got closer. Where have you been all day? Sorry, Zazu, Nala said. We were just looking for a cub house. A cub what? asked Zazu. A cub house, Nala explained. Scar didn't want us around. Then we almost got crushed at the water hole, Simba added. And, well, we haven't found it yet. But we will, Nala said. For now, we're ready to go home. Settling in at Pride Rock, the cubs cuddled up with their mothers in their warm, cozy cave. I still want to find a cub house someday, Nala said. But for now, it's good to be home. And it's good to be home these days too. So stay home, stay safe, and I hope you enjoyed this five-minute story. <laughs>